hello youtube it's your girl kimberly welcome back to my channel make sure you subscribe that way you won't miss out on any great skincare hair care beauty travel tech videos that i make here for the channel so let's get into the video makeup i have not been wearing so a lot of times on my channel you'll see me buy the products talk about how i love it say how i'm wearing it maybe do a tutorial here there very few far in between <laughs> and then it kind of disappears right but what's happening is as i keep the things that i'm using and loving on my makeup table i'm slowly developing this makeup graveyard and it is not good so what i'm going to do is show you the products i'm not using kind of talk about why i put them down and then i'm going to tell you guys whether or not i'm keeping them or i'm tossing them because some you know some of this stuff is just like how long can you keep it and makeup expires so let's get into the things i'm also going to set a stopwatch because um the basically i don't want to go keep rambling rambling i'm sorry i just got a text but um and it was an important one yeah so let me set the stopwatch now so i can make sure that i'm not going too over i'm probably gonna have to make this a couple of videos because there's a lot of makeup it's like a whole target bag full of makeup it's crazy um also just goes to show you like there's a lot of times when i buy stuff just because everybody's talking about it and i want to be a part of like the zeitgeist to give my opinion but in real life it's like girl how much makeup do you need all right let's grab the bag oh let me show you guys the bag full of makeup okay so oh this is going to be interesting i'm gonna grab no i'm not gonna grab these all at once let's do it one by one okay so first thing in the bag fenty beauty sun stalker mocha mommy uh instant well it's the instant warmth bronzer in the shade mocha mommy so actually something hilarious the <laughs> fenty beauty came out with the sun stalker palette um that it dupes as eyeshadow and bronzer basically only one bronzer is going to work for your skin tone and they're telling you use the rest of them as eyeshadows if you're going on vacation i can see how that's a good palette if you want to do brown neutral looks every night of the trip <laughs> and <laughs> then you also have your bronzer with you and as you tan you'll have different options for your bronzer so that is one use case for it but it's too specific for me to run out and get it i actually don't really use this bronzer anymore i mean i'm almost got the logo out of there but it's still i went ahead and bought a fenty foundation powder that is more suitable to be my bronzer which is what i'm wearing now and um i think it's it's the fenty powder shade 480 is the one that i use as a contour so this is kind of too red too light and i can't really make it work the way i want so i don't use it but because there's so much left in it i want to see if i could use it as an eyeshadow or make it work some other kind of way um because you know these things be adding up Ugh, another fenty thing trophy wife fairy bomb this stuff makes a mess it goes everywhere it's hard to control um if you don't remember what it was it was basically the loose powder of trophy wife if you're like a real deal makeup artist, I'm pretty sure you can do different looks for different clients and finesse this to make it work. But in terms of an everyday person, unless you li literally are wearing gold looks all the time or you're putting on your body too, mixing it with like lotion or something maybe, I don't know. But this stuff is a mess and I'm scared every time. I Like you saw how gingerly I opened it. I'm always scared that it's going to just put glitter all over my house and then I'll never be able to clean it up. Um... <laughs> next oh my god we used to be obsessed with these remember the ambient uh lighting powder this is radiant light this was one of my favorite highlighters it now looks so dry and so washed out now that i'm using highlighters like the pat mcgrath that are like so multi-dimensional and the gold looks like real gold like these powder ashy ones i don't know why we were settling for that but um i'm actually gonna is this a baby swipe let's see oh yeah i did a little swatch on my hand i don't even know if you can see it. you see that white stripe like this was not for us but it was the darkest shade they sold so i bought it and was convinced i could make it work for me in the bag i don't know if i'm gonna keep that or toss that yet oh my god there's so much good stuff in here i'm trying to get everybody who's like related together but i just saw three fenty things four fenty things 
five Fenty things. <sighs> Can you tell I have a Fenty problem? Let's go through them. This is Royal Icing. This was a highlighter. And like I said, I just literally started loving my Huda Beauty, Hi Huda Beauty highlighters. Um, Pat McGrath highlighter. I have a Kevin Aquan liquid one. Glossier. And there's just so many other highlighters that these just got pushed out the site. This is Royal Icing. The Fenty Beauty. I'm not going to buy any more diamond bombs. It's just too glittery for me. Um, the packaging is gorgeous, but it's just so glittery that I don't want to mix it with my everyday looks. And if I'm going to have something be glittery, it's going to be my eyes. Um, next we have how many carrots. The fact that I'm still out here in these streets buying makeup and I have all this makeup here, I got to do something. Ooh, I did not like how many carrots. It was very cool toned and did not look good on me. It's basically white with like silver glitter. Like this is, this is eyeshadow basically. Um, ugh. Okay, so then next we have Rose Rave. And I think I like this one. I just didn't, um, it was like I said, another thing where it's super glittery. So like all the rest of my makeup is matte and plain and then I'll put this on. But normally I don't really like to wear my makeup like that. So, um, and they're super chunky glitters. It's not like, you see how this is like, it's giving you the shimmer, but you can't see the pieces of glitter in it. Like with the Fenty, you literally see the chunks of glitter in your face. This is the press trophy wipe because remember when she was coming out with 18 different versions of the same trophy wipe? So I got this one too. Lord. I'm ha I have a whole Fenty highlighter graveyard in this bag. I'm going to have to figure out what, how I'm going to finesse that or work that out. Um, is there anybody else Fenty in here yet? Oh, there's some Pat McGrath in here too. That's a shame. Cognac Candy. This was the one that I actually liked. And it's probably the most used when we open this up. We'll see. Ooh. Did y'all know she could do that? Alright. I'm not even checking my little stopwatch. I was supposed to be on time. I was going to be good and pay attention. Alright. Five, five minutes. Basically six minutes. Alright. Let me see if I can get this sucker open. Because now it's like it don't want to open. Oh, Lord. Y'all might not see the cognac candy at this rate. Jesus. Okay. So, I just broke it out the whole little shell. Still can't get the sucker open. It's probably my claws, but you know what? Nails are life. This is probably why I stopped wearing this one, even though this is the one I liked. Alright, so this one has the most use. This is the cognac candy. I actually kind of like this, uh thing compact without the outer packaging but this is my favorite one out of all of them and um like i said it's just so glittery that you can't it just doesn't go with every look and a lot of times when i'm in a makeup wave i'm just doing one look one piece of my look is going to be over the top and then everything else will be um kind of muted or understated what a brat. This was a kilowatt highlighter. Um, this one I tried to start using as an eyeshadow. So I saw you see that little divot because I would have to wet the brush and like clunk it, like fill up the brush with so much product. So that's why it's like a little divot in there. Um, so that's that one. Continue through the graveyard of things. Uh, Max. Oh, these are super old. These are the MAC highlighters from years upon years ago. Um, extra diminished skin finish. I don't even know if they make these shades anymore. I just keep, I probably put these in a makeup declutter before. I refuse to get rid of these. I'm just, they have so much sentimental value to me for some reason. And I can't even explain why, which is hilarious. That's Glorify. And then this one is Whisper of Guilt. Um... I really was holding on to these because um, that like I was get wanting something like this, but now that I have the Pat McGrath, I might um, X-nay these because these are 
way over two years old okay so not the healthiest um got a little ziploc bag here let's open her up a dirty pro bronzer 80 from mac i was using this as a powder brush i did not use this for bronzer but it's a soft little fluffy brush it's so amazing and um i gotta clean that and i'm definitely keeping it okay Pat McGrath, I feel like this is the highlighter. Yes, Divine Glow Highlighter um, in the shade Golden Nectar. Not my favorite. I love the Divine Rose Highlighter better. This one is still good too, but it's just not my favorite. So she ended up over here with everybody else. Um, next we have the Meraki Lorac Palette. I was obsessed with this palette for a little bit. Um, as you can see by how messy it is at the bottom, I was using this thing all crazy. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I don't blind y'all with the mirror. But um, this is the palette. It's a great neutral palette. I just um, love palettes with a color story. So then it's easy for me to kind of forget about that one and to just move on to. Because I still, even though I'm doing brown tan black i still want that pink that yellow that blue that pop of color and now if i'm grabbing another palette like i'm gonna just i have other palettes that have both so then i always forget about that one fenty beauty snap shadows in number nine and number 10 and they're snapped together um this is actually a bag that i had take with inside the bag <laughs> is another bag of makeup that i took with me on a trip and this is how i was traveling with these at the time um, it was really convenient for me because I got a perfect mix of, I'm not going to call them neutrals, but like good transition colors and then some bright colors. So if you look at the nine side, I got that little purple kind of color story and then I would usually dip into the tan and that dark brown. And then on this side, you got the gold and the green color story and I would dip into the gold shimmer and that green shimmer too. Um, so this is a cute little palette. Definitely going to keep it. Um, last couple of vacations I went on were like hot beachy ones. So then it like didn't make sense to bring a whole bunch of makeup because you just sweat it off. But um, this was really, really cute. And I brought my Pat McGrath Divine Rose Eyeshadow Palette instead. So oh wait, let me keep these together. Um, next is another Fenty highlighter. This is Penny from Your Thoughts. Penny for Your Thoughts. Um... Just another cute little highlighter, but I wasn't really into this shade that much. It reminded me a lot of Kanye Candy, and I'd rather that one of the two, because that has gold and brown. This one has more of like a bronze and gold, not really fully brown. Um, so I liked uh, Kanye Candy better. Okay. What time are we at? I feel like we have passed our 15 minutes. Um, it's been a while. Oh, we're at 11 minutes and 35. Let's keep going, keep going. Um, AJ Crimson, uh, Loose Powder and Bamboo. Uh, rest in peace to AJ Crimson, a phenomenal makeup mastermind and celebrity makeup artist. I love his brand and I love this powder too. Um, I did get into the, uh, Laura Mercier yellow powder. So I kind of had tabled this one for a while, but, um, that one's a mini. So once that's done, I'm definitely going back to this. One of my favorite yellow powders is AJ Crimson. Absolutely phenomenal, great yellow powder. Um, also in here is uh, NC50 Max Studio Fix. This is just a face powder of mine. As you can see, your girl has a tan. So it would not work for me currently, but for in the winter time, this would be great for setting the center of my face. When my tan goes away, I'm going to be so sad, y'all. I'll just be on... I'm gonna be on Instagram, YouTube, just crying. That's it. Another Fenty highlighter. Can you tell I have a problem? Uh, this is Ruby Riches. So, um, this one was a really beautiful color. And I need to use it as an eyeshadow. I'm going to start using all of these as eyeshadows. Because they're too chunky for um, highlighters, the glitter. So, um, next we also have another highlighter. This is from MAC. Oh my gosh, I'm addicted to highlighters, guys. This is Fairly Precious, another one that's super old that I probably need to throw away, but I'm keeping for sentimental reasons. Um, let me 
see what else is in this bag. I don't know how these Pat McGrath lipsticks got in here. I'm gonna pull them out to show you guys, but um, this was an Axel Dent. Um, oh, I know what happened with these. This is Christy. Her mattes are so matte that they suck the life out your lips. And I have dry lips with a lot of lines in it. So these are high maintenance lipsticks. Like, you have to constantly reapply, put a gloss, exfoliate your lip in the bathroom. And that's just not um, practical for me. And because my lips are dry, it's worse than it is probably for the average person. So that was just... Um, Polaroid Pink was the bright pink one I just showed you guys. And then this is Omi. And this is the shade based on Naomi Campbell. So, um, yeah. Nah, if you have dry lips, stay away from the Pat McGrath mattes. I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot of work. If it's a fancy occasion and you want a fancy lipstick and to pull out your purse and be like, ooh, yes. Then, it, I mean, now that I tried the, the, the vinyl ones, I'm like, this is going to be the one I do that with. So... Um, that is it for the, I thought there was more things in here that I would want to talk about, um, but it's not really anything. It's just a whole bunch of MAC lipsticks that, um, I got when I first got into makeup. Oh, there's another, what is this? Cupid No Crush, a little mini one from, oh, it's a cream blush. Ugh. Oh, this was such a waste. These cream blushes, they're cute and they definitely work great, but... Too much finagling for your girl. I don't even wear a blush like that. A lot of times, this is what people get. A little highlight, a little contour, and that's it. But um, I also have a single eyeshadow in here. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow shades, Embark by MAC. Definitely hit pan on it. I'm going to finish that up and then recycle it. But that is it for my declutter, y'all. So I guess not for a whole bunch of other videos. Unless I find some other bags of makeup, then I'll go through it and um, kind of show you guys what I have. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.